Guten Tag. So I just wanted to confirm that we have done an orientation through the book, how the lessons are structured, what all, what uh, sections are there in each lesson, those things we have done. Das ist, das ist der Inhalt, das ist der Inhalt. Whatever is held inside, that is the inhalt, which would be the contents, the contents, the inhalt, okay, whatever is held inside, their inhalt, das ist der Inhalt von dem Buch and then lesson 2, then you can just take one minute and go through the contents right now and if you do not understand any term there in the contents page for the first two lessons, please ask, okay, because this presentation with this we begin lesson 3. So, just go through the contents page of the first two lessons. Sir, uh, Uber. 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 What is the? Uh, Uber sich und, uh, und andere sprechen. Uber sich und andere sprechen. Speak about self and others. About. About. But not one to one. Yes. Sir. In this context, sprechen Uber is to speak about. You can't say Uber is about. Okay. You have to take it in the context. Sprechen über is to speak about. Uh, and sir, uh, Ferab Shiden, is it a is it a split verb? No, no, it's not a split verb. So, are, are there any doubts about any of the elements in lessons one and two? Yeah, Mike. So, uh, actually, page thirteen. I don't understand the. Contents given in the box. Page 13, Zaita Dreizen. Zaita Dreizen. Zaita Dreizen. What is a problem? Uh, gut. Uh, the purple box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Purple box. Gut gesagt. Wie bitte. Gut gesagt. Gut gesagt. Well said. Gut gesagt is standard German phrase for well said, okay. So well said meaning what, what are the good expressions in German to, to, uh, to ask for something, to say something. So gut gesagt, wie bitte, wie bitte, I told you the meaning of wie bitte. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I beg your pardon, yeah, please once again repeat, I beg your pardon, that is simply wie bitte, wie bitte, okay. So, what what is the context in which vibita is said? When is vibita said? When you don't understand something that is said. When you don't understand something that someone has has spoken and you ask you want them to repeat, so you you say vibita. So there are other expressions in that field, in that semantic field. There are other expressions which are given in this purple box. So for example, entschuldigung, noch einmal bitte, entschuldigung, Ex, excuse me standard expression for excuse me, Entschuldigung, noch einmal bitte, once again please, one more time please, noch einmal bitte, bitte ein bisschen langsamer, bitte ein bisschen <coughs> langsamer, Schnell, langsam. Ja, schnell, langsam. Langsam ist slow. Schnell, fast, quick. This word is schneller, langsamer the comparative of that, faster, slower, okay, langsamer, bitter ein bisschen, langsamer, ein bisschen, ein bisschen, again standard expression for a bit, ein bisschen, langsamer, das verstehe ich nicht, das verstehe ich nicht, understand, verstehen, to understand, that I do not understand, das Verstehe ich nicht. Okay. So, that is also one of the structural elements of the of the book that if there are such uh, 
options given to you, vocabulary op options, then they would be in this kind of a box. Uh, and uh, if uh, you have been through the lessons and you understand most of it, then one last uh, instruction is that the last page of every lesson, like for example, Seite 17, Lektion 1, Seite 17. Here all the elements that have been handled in the lesson are summarized. Okay. One second. So, every lesson last page will have something like this where all the elements are summarized okay. and uh, this is again for you to once go through and check whether you understand the ones that are given there or not. Uh, somebody has a has a workbook, Arbeitsbuch. I forgot to bring mine, sorry. Uh, similarly, Arbeitsbuch, Arbeitsbuch, uh, if you open the workbook and look at the last 2-3 pages of every lesson, there will be a, an R for a revision which will again recap whatever is there in the lesson in 2 or 3 uh, summary exercises. And you will have the last two pages, sometimes if it is a longer lesson than the last three pages, we will have all the new vocabulary and other information that has been introduced in the lesson. So, these, these two pages in the workbook are also very important. Okay. And then you also have something small space which says Wichtig für mich, Wichtig is important for me. Whatever you feel is important for you from the lesson also you can make notes of that. Okay. So, it is a, a it is quite helpful to get used to the structure of the workbook also and uh, the sooner you do it the better. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There is a statement, Horen Sie erst, erst den Buchstaben rap. When is, when is den used? Ha, huh, that will come, that will come in the, in the next lesson, it will come. When den is used, no? Yeah, that will come in the next <coughs> lesson. So, um, as just as the other uh, doubt also I deleted right now, like whether verabschieden is a separable verb or not. Uh, so, that will come in subsequent lessons. So, I am not addressing the doubt right now. Similarly, if you understand the instruction, then that is sufficient for now. You do not, uh, the point is right now you do not have to understand every word. If the critical matter is clear to you, what you have the task, what you have to do is clear, clear to you and you can do that, then that is what is expected right now. Okay, I, it is not expected of you that you understand why the Dane is used over there. But by the by the time we are into lesson four, it will be done. Anything else with these two? Good. Dann kommen wir zu Lektion drei. Dann kommen wir zu Lektion drei. Yeah. Lektion drei in der Stadt. Lektion drei in der Stadt. Stadt is a city in der Stadt. Here also you can see that. The title of the lesson is in der Stadt, but the title of the presentation is die Stadt. So, why is it die Stadt here and der, der Stadt there? Those things will come uh, in in due time. Okay. So, uh, this we have already done the first couple of slides last time. Just go through that again. Yeah, die Stadt was. Was finden wir? Was finden wir in der Stadt? Was finden wir in der Stadt? Zum Beispiel, zum Beispiel, zum Beispiel. I wrote it on the board last time. Zum Beispiel, zum Beispiel. I said a few important expressions for in, example. for example, yeah. 
and page number Zeiter. Ja. Zum Beispiel, was finden wir, was finden wir, finden? Was finden wir in der Stadt? Typisch, typically, typisch. Was finden wir in der Stadt? Wir finden die Ampel. Ja? Wir finden die Ampel oder die Straße. Der Platz, der Platz ist ein Square, ja, ist ein Square, der Platz. Ja, uh, shall we read one by one the words? If you are loud enough, then we don't need to use the mic. Yeah. Die Ampel. Die Ampel. Die Straße. Straße. Der Platz. Der Platz. Der Zebrastreifen. Der Zebrastreifen. Der Zebrastreifen. Streifen. 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 Der Zebrastreifen. Der Bürgersteig. Der Bürgersteig. Bürgersteig. Der Park. Der Park. Ja, yeah. if any word is not clear, you can just raise your hand and we'll stop. Der Park. Bürgersteig. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Footpath. Bürgersteig. Ja. Yeah. Uh, der, der Bahnhof. Der Bahnhof. Der Bahnhof. Der Bahnhof. Das Café. Das Café. Das Geschäft. Das Geschäft. Oder? Der Laden, okay. Um, das Geschäft. Oder. Or. I might uh, use this word also frequently. Oder. If I want you to give an alternative. So, or. Das Geschäft oder. Der Laden. Der Supermarkt. Der Supermarkt. Ja. Das Kino. Ja. Das Kino. Yeah. Das Kino. <coughs> What is das Kino? Ja. Yeah. Das Kino. Die. Why do you want the bank? Banks are dying anyways. Why do you want them to die in the German class also? D bank. D bank. Yeah. D bank. Yeah. German has a wonderful uh, other language also have it, but uh, there is for example, um, Bank in German, the same word die Bank has two distinct meanings. One is of course, what is shown over here is the bank, which is also die Bank, the bench, the bench also, also im Park. Der Park, im Park, finden wir auch eine Bank. Okay, so in Parks also there are benches. That is also the bank. Uh, <coughs> then uh, <coughs> there is the wonderful word called Ze. 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 Yeah, someone said sea, someone said lake, both. Okay, so. D, if it is feminine, D Z, it is the C, the Arabic Z. On their west coast von Indian, on their west coast von Indian, haben wir die Arabic Z. Yeah? <coughs> Arabic Z. But if it is masculine, same word, it is a lake. Okay. So, for example, uh, An der, an der Grenze, uh, zwischen, zwischen is between, between, zwischen Deutschland und Schweiz haben wir den Bodensee. If you look at the map in your book, uh, on the inside cover, you will find between southwest of Germany and north of Switzerland, near Zürich, you will find Bodensee, there are Bodensee, the Bodensee uh, in English it is called, anybody knows what that lake is in English, Bodensee, 
it is called Lake Constance, it is called Lake Constance, Bodens A and uh, yeah, it is a very beautiful region. So, if it is there is A, it is the lake, if it is D is A, it is the sea, okay. And then uh, there is one, uh, one of my favorites is the word band, band. It can be der band, das band, or d band, d band actually. But d band is a giveaway because what would d band be? A music band, d band, because it's a direct. Uh, uh, adopting from English. So, D band is uh, the a music band, for example, the Beatles sind eine band, okay, or uh, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd was in a band. These are, these are my time uh, music bands. But <coughs> uh, the other two are Das Band and Der Band. So, uh, Das Band, Das Band is for example, uh, rubber is gummy, gum, gummy, gummy band, gummy band would be a rubber band, yeah. So, any kind of a band, any kind of a thing that that you can stretch or even uh, not only stretch, you can but wear. Hmm? you can wear it also, but, but a kind of a ba uh, rubber band, yeah, a band and uh, there is a dare band. Der Band is a bound volume that is a book. The bound volume of a book is Der Band. Okay. So, um, there, are, there are several words which have um, two or three different meanings. Sometimes they are even have different genders and <coughs> each gender will usually have a different meaning. Can you imagine I Yesterday I discovered, yesterday or day before yesterday I discovered as mundane a word as butter. Okay, this is one of the first words I have learnt in German, which means it I have learnt it in 1982. Okay. Uh, butter, it is so part of my German vocabulary. Brot und Butter, bread and butter. Okay. And I yesterday I discovered that butter can also be masculine. I have always learnt it and always known it as D butter. But I discovered yesterday and actually I was quite, uh, I mean, zapped to see that the <coughs> alternative given to D butter was der butter and then I have to actually read about it because uh, there is a discussion in a discussion forum. I, I told you the portal leo.org, no? I have given you the link. Please download the app if you have a smartphone. If you do not have a smartphone, it is fine. But uh, leo.org, leo is short for link everything online. It is a wonderful portal for language learning and it has several bilingual, multilingual dictionaries which are which you can access through an app free of charge. And you can even join their discussion forums. So, they have discussion forums on certain grammar issues, translation. Many translators who are professional translators actually are members of their fora, uh, and they, um, when they cannot find suitable translations, they go onto this forum and discuss and get suggestions. So, leo.org is, is, a, is a good app and a good website as well. So, that is, I, I found a discussion actually on this on the fact that. In certain sections of Germany, in certain, especially in South Germany, it is, uh, and South Germans are saying that we have always known, is, uh, known it as der Butter, as masculine. Now, this is something that was completely new to me, which came to me yesterday. So, uh, yeah, it can happen. It only uh, further enriches your knowledge. Okay, the moment you find out that you're wrong, it's the best moment in your life. Okay, because that will mean one mistake less from next time onwards. So, <coughs> debunk, then we are <coughs> continue after that. Mm. We heißen Sie? Ich heiße Swati. Swati, yeah. 
Die Post. Die Schule. Die Schule. Das Hotel. Here it is T, hard sound. Das Hotel. Krankenhaus. Das Krankenhaus. Uh, krank, just the word krank in German means sick. Krank. Okay. Krankenhaus. Yeah. Der Flughafen. Der Flughafen. Der Flughafen. Yeah. Das Stadion. Das Stadion. Das, Sta das Stadion. Yeah. Das Restaurant. Das Restaurant. Das Restaurant. 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 Yeah, it's a French word. Das Restaurant. Uh, yeah. Der Parkplatz. Der Parkplatz. Der Parkplatz. Okay. It's just to get used to the vocabulary. Verkehrsmittel. Yeah. The Verkehrsmittel also we have done. What are they? Verkehrsmittel? Yeah. Means of transport, basically. Mittel is means. Yeah. Can you see it? One second, I have learnt a new trick. Flug? Flug? Zeug. Europa, Deutsch, Zeug. Noch einmal, bitte. Noch einmal, bitte. Flug. Flugzeug. Ja. Das Flugzeug. Das Auto, der Zug, Zug, G, G, at the end, I, have to hear, I want to hear that, Zug, ja, der Zug, der Bus, der Bus, ja, die U-Bahn, gut, die U-Bahn, Bahn, die Straßenbahn, das Fahrrad, das Fahrrad, ja, das H, das H, du musst nicht wundern, das Fahrrad, das Fahrrad, das Fahrrad, Das Moped, continue, reverse order. No, no. Das Motorrad. Reisebus. Der Reisebus. Ja, der Reisebus. It is also important for us why I am making you pronounce them again yeah can you see what i am marking Will, uh, yeah, splitting. yeah, I'm splitting longer words. <coughs> yeah, where are we? Yeah, their last wagon. Take your time, it's not going to fly away. Their hoop schrauber, their hoop schrauber. Der Hubschrauber. Das Wohnmobil. Das Taxi. 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 Bus. Taxi. We have to get used to different sounds of these similar words. I mean, they are the same word uh, in English as well. But we have to get used to a different sound. Taxi. Taxi. Yeah. Das Taxi. Das Boot. Das Boot. Boot. It's between U and O. It's not exactly U. Okay, that's boat. D. Fair. Fair. 
a umlaut no we have we have learned what happens to a it becomes a yes no you remember that no yeah so fair de fair yeah und das schiff das schiff one second just just a moment uh, so uh, we can see for example we are we are having here bus und hier reiser bus ja yeah? reiser bus ist auch ein bus okay reiser bus what is other bus you can have schul bus ja yeah, gut schul bus okay das ist auch ein bus okay so to uh, similarly we have in here die u bahn die u bahn die straßenbahn und noch eine bahn nee die u bahn und die straßenbahn okay so die u bahn ist eine bahn straßenbahn ist auch eine bahn okay uh, fahrrad und motorrad fahrrad motorrad rad das rad in german is a wheel okay fahren ist to travel so wheel with which you travel is a cycle okay um, das fahrrad and if the wheel has a motor attached to it das motorrad okay das motorrad uh, we have here der last wagen der last wagen uh der krankenwagen krankenwagen an ambulance is der krankenwagen okay uh last wagen wohnmobil that's very clear uh, wohnen to stay to live uh das taxi boot auto yeah one uh, somebody had doubt here yeah A little loud so that we don't have to pass uh, mic others take the mic can you tell the difference between the a umlaut and e again <coughs> very simple a bitte sagen sie das a a a a a a a a so stretchy also a little less flat a a and a okay so um schnell schnell boden den uh whereas uh fair okay fair is slightly longer a fair so there is a there is a fairly subtle difference between the e and the a umlaut okay uh however you will come across in fact i did that exact uh, thing in german too this morning because um, we have are you familiar with the word diphthong is a combination of vowels so we have seen cer certain typ typical german diphthongs for example i e is always e e i is always i a u au e u oi so if you have an a umlaut u that diphthong will be almost the same as e u oi okay uh which was a word this morning i okay we'll we'll find words not not a problem so uh I don't know you you have to get used to saying it but there is a very small difference uh just that it is slightly longer and uh, a little less flat and the moiser. e huh moiser moiser yeah okay <laughs> but moiser we have not done the word as such uh de mouse have you done de mouse no de mouse de moiser okay why not um so we have uh 
in all senses of the term d maus d maus das ist eine maus auch and uh, what runs around the house is also d maus okay d maus and its plural is d moise the moise that a umlaut u is almost like our europa or deutsch or euro yeah moise okay so the same thing happens with a umlaut uh i i my the detours go on and on sorry but but since we have the word here and this is a good example to also clarify like for example if you have something like this it means it is feminine mouse is the word and additional umlaut and e is the plural is a pl uh, plural form okay now you have two vowels here that can take the umlaut okay e and i these two vowels cannot take the umlaut so it's okay if you have a diphthong with either e or i and the plural has an umlaut then you know that e and i can't take it the other will take the umlaut okay but here you have diphthong with a and u and both can take the umlaut so how do you decide in such a case uh practically always it will be the first vowel which will take the umlaut the first one which can take will take the umlaut okay the mouse d moise for example another word like this is also das haus das haus mein haus ist hier auf dem campus mein haus das haus but its plural is the häuser häuser die häuser okay so since we have au the umlaut will come on to the a okay die häuser just one more uh, very quick note you can make uh, i have marked here words i hope all of you can see them i have marked here words like straßenbahn motorrad fahrrad reisebus take straßenbahn for example okay straßenbahn but it's not a good good uh, example but anyway Strassenbahn is a bahn. We'll take uh, Reisebus. Reisebus. Reisen is a word we have done <coughs> as hobby. Okay, Reisen to travel. Okay. Uh, it is a D Reise is a journey. D Reise is a journey. d riser and der bus is the bus and we are combining the two words into riser bus now which gender will the new word take of the riser or the bus bus why because it is a bus and not a journey okay so when when you combine words in german and and german uh, you can combine words uh, like nobody's business it is a wonderful language uh, in terms of um why don't you google the longest german word and you'll find that the longest there is something called a longest german word i mean it although it is uh, it should not exist because you can practically go on adding words uh, nouns one on top of the other and create long words but it is something like uh, the captain of the ship uh, the captain employed by the company which owned a ship which traveled on the danube or something like that that is a one word for <laughs> for that i don't remember the exact german word right now but i suppose you can understand uh, why i can't remember the and another wonderful text to read now that you have uh, you have dived into the pool is uh, have you heard of an american writer called mark twain yes, yes. so mark twain made the same mistake that you are making now but that was 200 years ago or 
and 50 years ago he made the same mistake that you are making now, he began to learn German and then he had to write a wonderful um, autobiographical essay called The Horrible German Language. <laughs> so, you can Google Mark Twain's Horrible German Language and you will find it is uh, it's quite a funny now that uh, and as you uh, go on uh, making uh, mm, progress in German grammar by bounds, leaps and bounds, you will understand Mark Twain better and better. Okay. So, um, he begins by saying that there must have been something in the stars about my learning German because as soon as I began learning German within the first two months or whatever it is, three of my teachers died. <laughs> So, that is the way it begins the uh, essay, it is freely available online, you can just download it and read it. Anyway, so um, yeah, Rizabu. So, please make a note of this that if you have a, uh, if you have a combination of two or more nouns which becomes a new noun, then it is the last of that, uh, the last constituting element of that new compound which will be the determining uh, element for the gender because it will usually be that in terms of thing that it is. Okay. So, done common via, uh, these are actually texts from the, this is the lesson now. If you can, you can also open your book, as you can see Seite 28 zum Beispiel and you will find these pictures and descriptions on page 28 of the book or thereabouts. Okay. So, what we will do is, we can read through these texts and I think you can just do an exercise in listening and understanding as I read through the text. If you have the textbook there, you can follow it there as well. Ja. Das ist jetzt Lektion 3 in der Stadt. Uh, der Markt ist über 220 Jahre alt. Hier kann man fast alles kaufen. Nicht nur Fisch. Pro Jahr kommen 5 Millionen Besucher. Ja? Der Markt ist über 220 Jahre alt. Makes, is making sense? What, what sense is it making? It's a market, yeah. It's, it's the building, obviously, the, a market built a market then. Not about, there you have your about, okay. It is over and above, yeah, that also is Uber, okay. It is over 220 years old, that is also Uber, here. Here kann man fast alles kaufen, kaufen is a very important verb, kaufen is to buy. One can buy fast alles, almost everything, almost all, fast, the word fast in German means almost, fast alles kaufen, nicht nur fish. So, not only fish, not only fish. Pro Jahr kommen 5 Millionen Besucher, pro Jahr kommen 5 Millionen Besucher. Ja, pro Jahr 5 Millionen yeah, per year 5 million come who? Tourist. Tourists or? Yes. Visitors. Visitors. Besucher, standard word for visitors. Because German language also has the word tourist. Same spelling, almost the same pronunciation also, tourist. Pro Jahr common 5 million in Besucher. 5 million in Besucher. Ha. Huh. Good question. Can you or can't you? I mean, it is like after we, we understand that it's uh, 5 million bezuka, but like it's yeah. it's there is like no, some structure is a bit uh, what is the verb common. 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 Who comes? Bezuka. So what subject you can identify very easily. But what is the problem? Is it in passive word? No. The ordering of the sentence. 5 million tourists come every year. Every year 5 million tourists come. Is there a problem? 
that is English. Yeah. I mean, that is that is your that, that you I mean, your so a rearing in sentence space, okay. Sorry, a rearing in the sentence space is fine. Can we reorder the sentence? How would you reorder the sentence? Five million in Besuhar, few million in, uh, few million in Besuhar, comment pro, yeah, fine, perfectly fine, yeah, but few million in Besuhar, pro, yeah, common not acceptable common will stay where it is you can play around with the other elements of the sentence but that's why i said it's a good uh, good question to ask the verb that we are conjugating for the sentence will occupy the second place among all the elements of the sentence and elements meaning it is not a single word sometimes for example here in this sentence the subject Fifth million and bezucha, three words go into the phrase that is actually the subject of our sentence. Fifth million and bezucha, that is one element. Second element has to be the verb, common, and then pro yar is an adverbial phrase of time of frequency, which says per year. It's also a phrase with two words. So, um, if you put pro yar first and pro yar common. Few million and bezukhar, common is actually a third word in the sentence, but it is a second element in the sentence. Pro yar, common, few million and bezukhar. Okay, so very important rule for a standard sentence in German: the conjugated verb has to occupy the second place. Okay, among the various elements of a sentence. Yeah, if you go through the book, you'll realize what. What this market is about, so that we, we'll, yeah. Why is it million in instead of million? Few. So okay. D million, D million n. Aina million, few million n. So hundred, you say few hundred. Yeah. When we did numbers, I told you yeah. that with yeah. the million, you you hit the first number that is actually a noun. Okay. Till there, all of them are not nouns. Okay. <clears throat> Pro yar, <clears throat> das Rathaus in Hamburg. Now we know which city it is. Das Rathaus in Hamburg besuchen jedes Jahr mehr als hundert tausend Menschen aus aller Welt. Okay, das Rathaus in Hamburg besuchen jedes Jahr hundert. Uh, das Rathaus in, in Hamburg besuchen jedes Jahr mehr als hundert tausend Menschen aus aller Welt. Here you have the verb besuchen. There you had the noun bezukhar, okay. Yeris yar. There you had pro yar. Here it is yeris yar. Per year, every year. Mention, okay. People, people. The Srat House, the town hall, the Srat House. Es ist über hundert zehn Jahre alt. The Srat House is hundert elf meter breit. Und der Turm. In der Mitte, der der Turm, in der Mitte ist 112 Meter hoch, breit und hoch, breit, broad, wide and high. Yeah. Let us try and finish these texts tomorrow. And the other element that you have to learn in lesson three. Is to tell directions. Ask and tell directions. Okay, so go through that part. I'm sure you understand most of it. <clears throat>